Maggie is all set to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Teratata on Friday, November 3rd, on France 2, in a spectacular 3.5-hour charity extravaganza featuring over 80 national and international artists. This star-studded event is dedicated to supporting the fight against cancer. However, for Nagy, it's not just a joyful occasion to reminisce about the legendary moments of his career. It's also a time to address some less than charming encounters with certain guests. In a recent interview on, on Rife La Tele, Nagy opened up about the multifaceted world of television and the dynamics that shape it. Drawing a parallel to the world of sports, where camaraderie exists even in competition, Nagy noted that television often lacks the same level of mutual respect and harmony. He cited a quote from Marc Olivier Fogiel, emphasizing that one can't possibly please everyone in any field. Tensions, disagreements, backstabbing, sincerity, and genuine friendship coexist in the television industry, just like in any other line of work. Eric Dussert joined the conversation, highlighting that some individuals in the profession tend to become paranoid. Nagy clarified that there's a distinction between paranoia and caution. Paranoia is when someone believes, everyone hates me, whereas acknowledging that one may not be universally loved is simply being cautious. Nagy stressed the importance of modesty and shared how, in the early days, he was more inclined to see the best in everyone, adopting an, everyone is beautiful, everyone is nice, attitude. Over the course of 30 years, Nagy has had the privilege of welcoming over 3,000 artists on Teratata. While most encounters were pleasant, he didn't shy away from acknowledging that a few artists, despite their sweet and humanist songs, exhibited less than pleasant behavior off-camera. Nagy admitted, there are artists that I no longer want to invite. In the words of Jean-Jacques Goldman, the songs are more beautiful than those who sing them. Nagy revealed that he would often confront such artists after their performances, letting them know that their behavior was unacceptable. He recounted an incident where he entered an artist's dressing room and, after a confrontational conversation, made it clear that it was the last time that artist would set foot on the terracotta stage. Nagy understands that having a strong character can be both a strength and a flaw. It can be perceived as complacency or inflexibility. He is sure that he listens and works diligently, and he's not as self-assured as he may appear. The only time he allows himself to be firm is when it comes to producing a show or taking charge of an editorial role. In such instances, one must be resolute and unafraid. Eva Kriver, during the show, also shared some interesting anecdotes about Nagy, including the removal of his wax statue from the Grevy Museum, a change that Nagy welcomed with a smile. Additionally, she introduced an Arabic version of Teratata, a venture initially launched by Perry Cochin, a former columnist for Laurent Ruquier. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.